Hey girls, it's Thursday, and because um, I ended up talking the death penalty with everybody, um, I actually learned something I thought I would share with you guys, mainly because Megan said that um, a lot of her opinion was based off of this, so I um, thought you guys should know, I was talking to a friend of mine whose dad is a cop, and he was looking into going to law school, and he said that he was shocked to find out that you can house three convicts for life for the price of killing one with the death penalty because apparently it has to go up the chain and go to the senate and all that and it gets really expensive so first of all i find that really screwed up um second i thought that you guys should know so that when you go to debate about it later and you say oh it's too expensive to house them and somebody calls you out on it you understand <laughs> so because i kind of thought it was important to know but I still stand with, I think, Tara's thing where I'm too scared to let him back out to do it again, so I still believe in the death penalty. Uh, yeah, but thought you should know. Happy Thursday. Seems like today I'm looking back. Well, maybe tomorrow I'll see further than my little head allows me to. Hey girls, so um, the first question was from Megan, what do I obsess about? And um, I couldn't come up with anything, so I asked my husband Dave, and he said that I seem to obsess about like the latest focus in my life, um, which right now is actually my headstand again. I know you girls probably remember me like doing it in every single video back when I was in Alabama and, and stuff, um, but the thing was is like, I. I did it for PR and stuff, which means like TV and publicity things, um, but then it kind of like calmed down and I didn't think it was ever going to go in the actual act in the show, so I stopped working on my headstand, and now Bobby, the girl on the lead elephant who does the headstand in the show, is taking a two week vacation starting August 2nd, and I have to get my headstand show worthy in that amount of time, so I'm like suddenly completely obsessed with my headstand again. Um, but I'm super excited, anxious, nervous, all those crazy feelings because it's going to go in the show and I'm kind of freaking out about it, but in a good way. So that's what I'm currently obsessed about. Um, Tara, question about the crime thing. Um, honestly, I'm going to be super boring about this um, because I think my conscience would eat me alive for getting away with crime. And I also, the only thing that I could truly come up with was like possibly stealing money but at the same time um like when Dave and I had a lot of credit card debt I remember wishing you know somebody would just give us ten thousand dollars or whatever to pay it off and when that didn't happen and uh when we had to like you know take a few months and like do it ourselves and work hard and just really manage our finances well and and do it ourselves like at the end when I when we did pay it off it felt so good and like I felt like I learned a lot of financial lessons along the way so I was really grateful that, you know, it wasn't easy, um, so I wouldn't want to just be given the money, you know, I think it feels really good to work for it and, and learn. So those are the answers to those questions. Um, Janelle, I don't even feel like you can't ask debatable topics and stuff, and like, I appreciate everyone's opinion and like enjoy debating, but more so in person versus like publicly on YouTube, I guess. I don't know. But I'm totally fine with it. I don't want you to feel like you can't be yourself or um, enjoy this to the fullest. Um, and you know, I think Tara really likes it. I don't know how the other girls feel. I know Megan and I kind of were on the same page a little bit. But um, yeah, I'm still cool with it, you know, as long as like maybe we can bypass a couple every so often if we feel they're too touchy or whatever. But um, for the most part, like I'm cool with it. So don't feel restricted. Um, you didn't make me mad or anything. Um, also, I forgot to tell you girls that last week, I um, or the week before, something like that, I met up with Allison, Allison Midstock. I don't know if you guys remember her. I went to elementary school with her, and I uh, think she went to our middle school for a while, and she only went until like sophomore year of high school um, before she, she left and stuff for some surgeries um, that she didn't want to go through the healing process in high school and I don't blame her but anyways um, I don't know if you guys remember her but I'm gonna put some photos right now so you can hopefully remember but we met up for coffee here in Coney Island so check out the photos
So yeah, um, I was a little envious that Megan and Janelle, that you guys got to meet up for coffee. I feel so far away from all of you girls, like, can't just do that. Um, Janelle, I really miss you and like hanging out with you and Jason. Like, I don't know, I really enjoy hanging out with couples and healthy couples and fun couples, so I miss you guys. But um, the other thing, I don't really want to do a topic this week just because there's a lot going on, but the one thing I want to mention, which I hope Janelle doesn't mind, I'm like, I feel like I'm just... This is my Janelle video, but, um, like, remember last week where I just said it would be cool to hear from the other girls on how they think we've changed and stuff just from getting to know us on YouTube. Um, I just wanted to make, like, a comment about how I think Janelle's changed since high school. It just kind of really stuck out to me in her video this week, and, um, I don't know, I just feel like I gotta say something about it because I saw it, but Janelle, like, you seem so, so much more confident as a person just like within yourself and um like it's almost intimidating like how comfortable and confident you are with yourself it's just like really cool to see because in high school you were so easygoing and so sweet and like I'm the same type of person who gets bothered when somebody can't stick up for themselves and stuff and I feel like I have to fight everybody's battles for them just because I don't like to see anyone get picked on and um I don't know, I just feel like you're so strong now and so confident and it's really, it's really attractive like in a person. I think it's really, really cool to see how much you've grown within yourself and how much like you really love yourself. It's really neat to see that kind of self-respect, I think. Um, so yeah, like not that, you know, you didn't have any of that in high school, but it's just like really amazing to see the person that you've blossomed into. and just like the radiance that comes out of you just I don't know I feel like you're um you gave yourself some like boundaries on stuff to put up with because before you put up with everyone and anyone and you were like almost the peacekeeper and now it's just cool to see that you know you don't feel like you have to be that person anymore you can just be yourself and this are is... you recording what's going on what are you doing so <laughs> You look kind of sexy. Alright, I'll see you girls next week. <laughs>